Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Vampire. Last time we talked to everyone around this church area, and I think pretty much everyone around Whitechapel in general, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. This person is the only person I don't know around Whitechapel. I've seen everyone else, except for Mason Swansbury, I know about him tangentially, but I don't actually know him directly. And also this guy up here, don't know who he is, somehow in the group with Barrett and... Peterson. But we're off to see Darius at the moment because I can treat him for one because he has bronchitis. And I think that's it. I think actually there was also a side quest that we got. Uh, where are they? Yeah. Let's see where this is. Because Father Tobias sent off his recruit. Uh, it's this way. Uh, is it? No, it's, uh, it's all the way over there. Okay, that's a long way away. So we're not going to do that yet. We're actually going to go do Darius first. But he sent his recruit or his, like, um... His underling to go off into a place that's probably running, like, just overrun with scowls. So that guy could die. But I'll have that marked. But let's go talk to Darius for now. Because it seems like the easier way to go. And I'm right here. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Go away. I could mesmerize him, actually. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Where'd he go? <laughs> you also, you also like to s help people and help them for free. Let me in. Now I'll steal all your shillings. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, antique figure of Viracala. The antique figure of the Vrykolakus. Of my many journeys, I believe I was the most amazed by my exploration of the Mediterranean Isles, and particularly the island of Santorini. Who is this from? Usher Talltree. He's a primate of St. Paul. Okay. The Isle of St. Santorini. Searching for traces of vampire presence in these sub sunburnt lands, Herod Herodotus himself refers to the island in his fourth book, and I'm personally convinced that there are many mysteries to be unveiled in this part of the world. Who knows that? E Who knows that even to... Who knows that even today the island of Santorini is still considered by some as the most vampire-infested place in the world? Way more than the... Carpathians, and that its inhabitants are considered as a specialist. Its inhabitants are considered as specialists of the vampire hunt, or the hunt of the Vricolacus, as they call this creature. According to the local myth, the Vric Vricolacus, that's actually really hard to pronounce while talking in a sentence, is a dead person who does not decay, and who can some and can show a vermilion complexion as long as he is gorged with fresh blood. He cannot enter the house without knocking and getting a response. Garlic makes him flee. He does not con consume under the sun, but his skin blackens. He can change into wolf and other animals. What struck me the most is that the same name exists, with small variations from Mediterranean Sea to the Balkans. The Greek, the Greeks call him the Vrila, Vrila, Vrik Olakas. The Bulgarians and the Macedonians name him Varkolak or Var. Kolak, I think that's the same. The Serbians call him Vukuldalk. Yes, Vukuldalk. Vukodlak. 
God, these are hard to pronounce. A name so similar to the Vulcan we already know, my dear brothers. Just to write the few words now given by the shivers... Just, just to write the few words now gives me the shivers. I'm personally convinced that we're here... That we're here confronted to some of Proto-Vampire. I am personally convinced that we are here confronted to some of Proto-Vampire. It's not just me. This is written poorly. I just one point, or translated poorly is probably more, because I think the developers are French, so it's probably written in French than translated to English. Maybe they are, they are a missing link between the modern vampires and the creatures that came before them. If God allows me enough time, I wish one day to go back to the Santonari Island and find the trail of this antique and forgotten figure. From Drinking of the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Tolltree, Primate of St. Paul. Um, I was, it was very jolted and broken in there for a couple of reasons. One, these words are quite hard to pronounce. There is a lot of um, consonants right next to each other, which always makes it a bit difficult to read. Vrikolakis. Vukudal. Vukudlak. DL is not a very common thing in English. Particularly not in the middle of a word. Um, and secondly, there was a few grammar errors and spelling errors. Well, not spelling, but like, like missing words in this actual uh, writing. But interesting nonetheless. So it seems that there's some, some kind of extra breed of vampire. It's also interesting that he has this information sitting in this area. But we'll ignore that for now. I'm taking all this shit. I do like the fact they don't care if you take all their stuff. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Interesting. Uh, first things first, I'm going to cure Do his bronchitis. Mr. Petrescu. I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor. <laughs> it must be my lucky day. He sounds like he has bronchitis, goddamn. That voice, it sounds like he smokes about seven packets of cigarettes per day. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is touched. <laughs> now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Prochescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Tell me everything you... I do not... Hmm. It's not... Unblued. Which is interesting, but... Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? 
Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Hmm. Sad. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. But I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Interesting. So it was stated by a couple of people that both he and Dorothea fought, or didn't fight necessarily, but they, um... Uh, they... They were activists for the Communist Party in Romania. Which is interesting. I'm searching this place for loot, by the way, is what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm just going to open these doors to make it easier to run around here later. Which should also help. There is a lot of sick people around here. It is kind of like an impromptu hospital, isn't it? Also, the music is... Razvan sounds like he's a vampire. If I would have hazard, I guess. I'm gonna loot all this shit that you stole from the hospital, though. Because she has been stealing shit from the hospital, I'm pretty sure, which is probably the worst part about it, right? Let it in her screen. Uh, Theodora. It's her sister. My dear Dorothea, when you read this letter, I will be on a boat that will take Anton and me back to Brussels. England was not for us, and I confess I cannot wait to, get, to see again the proud hills of Transylvania. As soon as we are there, I promise I'll light a candle in the black church and pray for you to survive this terrible epidemic. I know that you do not agree with this decision and that you are determined to be more useful by helping our comrades exiled to the East End, but Anton cannot wait to return to our beloved country and see our long-awaited revolution bloom. He is my husband. I will stay by his side. I know we had our arguments and our fights. I know we would have wanted me to stand by your side and help you manage this clinic of yours. But now that I'm leaving England, I'm assured that if anything would happen to you, if you ever were to in great trouble or danger, I would come back immediately to London, without, with or without Anton. Please think of me as much as I think of you. I am your affectionate sister, Theodora. That's my best at a, uh, as a Romanian accent. She has a sister in Romania. What do you know? Alright, I'll help. 
<laughs> what do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel, hand me that scalpel. What can I do, Doctor? Anesthetic is not no time, tracheotomy. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe, that rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? Uh oh. I can't see. I must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Does she have epinephrine? Epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. I find it insane that she has epinephrine. Also, the sound is amazing in this. The tension that this is adding is really, really good. Cool. That sound in the ears. The ringing. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? Pretty this much. This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the mm -hmm. epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. There's still that vague ringing in the ears. That's very, very cool. you're here to test my bedside manners. Well, I'm gonna talk to her, but first... Chest. It's locked, damn it. To what do I owe this courtesy? I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. 
but that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. He was in the trenches in World War I, bitch. He knows about all those things. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So... Are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Probably not. Interesting. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. Interesting. So I've just made her less effective in her job. Presumably. But like... It's locked, all right. Damn it. <laughs> I guess if I killed her, I could have unlocked that, probably. So I think she's still going to be helping these people. when attacked. That's... See them fancy clothes? This one's a top! Fuck, it's fast! Where'd he go? They call me a beast? They've just come in and murdered a bunch of innocent people. Is he still alive? Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Yes? Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. So the pre-win didn't kill him, that's nice. I'm glad. So I should just be able to walk out here. Yeah, it's fine.
So. That's that. I can now go back to the hospital, which I think I'm going to do. Can I fast travel? I think there was a way to fast travel, right? Maybe. I can't remember. I can run back pretty easily, though. What way do I have to go, though? Uh... This way. Also, I want to talk to you, because I learned out that your stuff is a scam. Good evening, my dear colleague. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swamborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. If your true purpose was to help, you wouldn't take money from the poor for your snake oil. Oh, but to pay for it is part of the process, Doctor. If it were free, they wouldn't believe in it. Bullshit. Three? I don't can't quite kill her yet, but I'm close. Goodbye, Miss Swanbra. Yeah. When science fails, she's a piece of shit. Um, let's see. Again. So let's go this way. I cannot enter. Oh. Interesting. I thought that was the way out, but apparently not. Um, if I go this way... Yeah, this should take me out. This should be the quickest way back. Alright, I'll actually cut now, and then I'll be back at the hospital. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Alright, it seems we're back. I don't unlocked apparently. Interesting, so there was a hideout here, but What was this then? Kill it, boy. A trap is what this was. And they killed someone. To, they killed someone to set this trap up. Stop changing the fucking camera Back angle. Should heal me slightly. Die, 
the way that this lock on work is is shit. When there's this many enemies, stop locking on. Lock on is shit house and pointless. Sorry about that. Get out of the fucking smoke. Changed weapon somehow, and I don't know how I did that. Zed is how you do that, by the way. I need way more stamina. All my stamina needs to be more clear on my HUD. Like, I keep... Jesus. Alright, that, that was very difficult, just because... One, the lock-on system is really annoying. The, like, the way that you... Huh. So they killed a, an enormous rat, by the way. Like, that's huge. But they killed a rat to draw me out, I suppose? But they said he said this was human blood, which is interesting. But it was a it was a trap. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm now gonna head back to Pembroke. <laughs> and she might be in these offices here, or out on the ground floor. Apparently out on the ground floor. M. Goswick's medical file. Mortimer Goswick, male, age 23, followed by Dr. Ackroyd, 
Status, convalescent, state of emission, 27th of October, date release to be determined. Notes, the patient shows many signs of extreme fatigue and major sores on the throat, mouth, and tongue, but no sign of flu. Refuses to speak, claims it's too painful. Needs rest and healing of throat, mucus, membrane before any decision can be made concerning his release. Okay, so this, interesting. Mortimer is infected, is not infected with Spanish flu. Interesting. Well, that's something it's new. Locked. It's locked, all it's right. It's locked, all right. <laughs> It's locked, all right. So she's actually down on the ground somewhere. About where I thought she was, so... I don't know what's going on with that. So if we run out here and follow this marker, it's pointing me to where she was, but she's not there. She was right here. Oh, she is still there. Well. Well. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. What prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood? Or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Hmm. Thank you, Jonathan. Good work, Doctor. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. You just murdered a man. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Good. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Yeah, that's a good I'd question. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Makes sense. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Okay, so I should have asked them in the other order, but whatever. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Malkavian. <laughs> For those who know Masquerade, uh, Vampire the Masquerade. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Oh, shit. Excuse my forwardness, but are you my maker? Me? 
goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Interesting. She didn't say she wouldn't make progeny. A vampire. Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. And that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Interesting. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Hmm. Well, okay, so he was dying anyway. I'm far better about her killing him if he was dying anyway. It's essentially just mutually beneficial euthanasia. But it's still... Mm. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I wonder about that. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Hmm. I know this is beyond the pale, <laughs> but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27, I shall remain. Hmm. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Interesting. I figured if you were a mortal, you wouldn't care so much about someone asking your age, but you never know. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. That was vague. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. 
I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Hmm. There's a poetic way of putting that, but okay. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Interesting. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Hmm. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Interesting. I like the idea of getting into actual farewell. vampire politics, now, though. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Um, I would leave it here, but I think what I'm actually going to do is run back up to... Did I run the wrong way? No, I didn't. Here, and analyze this blood. To analyze. Also... Craft some of this while I can. So I now at least have one cure for everything. I can actually get a few more fat fatigue, which seems to be the most common thing. Cold is pretty common too. I'll get cold up a bit as well. Alright, analysis. A blood sample gathered by on Razavan's corpse. Oh, cool. Stamina serum. That seems really good. Unfortunately, I spent all my stuff on this stuff, so... I guess I don't get it. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. That's actually kind of terrifying. If you can transfer the flu via... If you can transfer vampirism via the flu, that's kind of... Huh. That's interesting. Alright, I'm going to level up. And then that's going to be the end of the episode. Next episode, we'll go and talk to Swansea. But I can now get an ultimate, which is nice. Um, I think I'm going to go Rage. Just because it's cool. Cries level 14 to get stage 2. But does 200 damage. You lose control and let the beast take over for a short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. So that's unlocked. Um, I think now what I want to, I, I really want stamina increases. That's what I want. I want my bite and I want stamina increases. This is really cheap too. I'm going to look at my upgrading my bite first, just because it'll be more expensive, I think. Plus 600% damage. 
I use this a lot, so it's worth a thousand. Seven hundred, nine hundred, a thousand percent damage. This is really tempting too. But also, blood recovery. Alright, I have a thousand left. I want this, but I don't want to spend the 900 on it, because I need more stamina. I'm actually going to buy these stamina upgrades. Just because, like, I need more stamina. It's, it's it's just a definite at this point. Oh, I can't afford that. 490. Uh, so I'm up 30%. That should help considerably. So I now have an ultimate. I upgraded my bite a bunch. Um, and I upgraded my stamina. Cool. Oh, and we'll actually see everything that's happened. That's also cool. Disappearances in Whitechapel. Reports of mysterious dip disappearances have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached a point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. Although this phenomenon appears to be a nationwide occurrence, this the statements of the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the country, Whitechapel, London. Yes, once more, the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities, even while numerous families from this district report the unexplained... The unexplained dis differences, disappearances to relatives and neighbours. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need for urgent medical attention. Until recently as a local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified good Samaritans, but the place now seems to be closed and no one has any news from that facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place? Have they been discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon, the London City Council's Board of Health will have to answer for this new mystery, EW. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if it's because the Skull did it, or maybe I literally just stopped her from doing anything. I thought I just lessened her blackmail? But maybe I'm wrong. Interesting. So a few people got healed. It's actually much more healthy here. I can actually treat Pippa, she's got a cold. So these two have colds, I can treat them next time, so that's something I'm going to do. Prices and stocks of the merchants in the districts have changed, so everything's cheaper because everyone's more healthy. Nothing happened here. This is in a serious state, so that's something. I guess because she's missing. Interesting. I may want to go and investigate and see if I can find her. Because I didn't, like, want her to leave. That wasn't what I was going for, but maybe that's what I inadvertently did. Anyway, that's that. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Where we'll first go talk to Dr. Swansea. Uh, this is wrong. I don't know why... My tracker is just broken. Whatever. My tracker seems to be broken. It's telling me to find a way into Darius Petrusco, Petruscu's house, but I can't. So, well, I've already done it, I should say. Not that I can't. But next time, we're going to go talk to Dr. Swansea and then probably head back to Whitechapel because I want to see if I can find Dorothea. But anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.